Uh, this was first started in the year 1968-69 in New Alipo, beside Phoebe bus stand. And it was started by my friend's grandfather. So there were very few customers, okay, no one knew what Chinese food is like and all. So it is them who like, you know, made the people taste what the Chinese food is like in the whole of South Kathar. Okay, we're going to be starting with some veg lemon coriander soup. Let's put the thickness of the soup over here. Steaming hot in this weather just when before summer and towards the end of winters the soup time mm. usually i like the hot and sour as well as the sweet corn the lemon coriander is very tangy it's got a lot of items i can i love the mushrooms which are over here for non-veg lovers we have some sweet no, sweet corn soup chicken sweet corn soup with a lot of egg and a lot of corn and chicken as well Mmm, very thick once again. Good stuff. If you like a little bit of pepper on top, you can always add. I prefer my soup the way it is made. Mostly it's like the home recipes, okay, what they used to cook in the home and all. And uncle even used to cook, he used to wash the dishes and all, okay. And he's the person who struggled and made this famous. It's a paneer 65. Mm. Spicy. The next item is a drumstick. Spicy looking again. Mm. This is good. Next, we have the prawn dishes over here some prawn balls as well as pepper prawns. Let's start with the prawn balls first. Crispy outside. I love the sauce. This is a perfect combination sweet and chili and the prawns. Over to some pepper prawns, spicy looking pepper prawns. Mm. Oh my god, this is so good! It's got the shell intact, so you're getting that crunchy taste as well, and the prawns are very fresh mm. and the size too. Great stuff. So, what's your experience, Kamon Devrup and Nanketa? Starting with Devrup, Kamon. So, this is a very old place, and uh, nothing has changed right from the taste. Uh, like I love. So you've been frequenting this place for the past fifty years. Uh, it's not very frequent. Um, so my grandfather told me about this place. Okay. So, like I said, the taste is brilliant. I love the prawns. Mm. What about you, Ankita? Come on, shall we? खूब भालो लेके चाहे हमारे स्टार्टर स्टार्टर सुपर मोड है हमारे लेमन कोरियन डे सुप तो उतना भालो लगी नहीं बट एक नंबर तो जेको टा स्टार्टर खेची खूब भालो लेके चाहे पनीर टाव ठीक ठाक चीज़ है पनीर सिक्सटी फाइव इट वाज डूइंग वेल वेरी वेल and until Corona came over, unfortunately, we have to lose him. After it expired, it was closed down for around like eight months. His son came down, so his son came down and reopened. Okay, I was there and it even ran for like six months over there but since it was the old property was a rented property and litigation was going on so like you know they filed a case and they have to leave that property so auntie decided my friend's mother auntie anu decided to close it down permanently and it was closed down for the a year however like you know it was so famous and people were very nostalgic about having food over here because they were having it from their childhood and now they're grown up so they were calling up auntie, calling auntie and telling her like, you know, at least we can taste the food, open something, a smaller version or something like that and all. And in a word like, you know, uh, they were pestering auntie to open one. And that's the reason only auntie decided to open a takeaway kind of joint over here, a little bit away from the Alipo in the Taratala James Long Saruni, beside DAV Public School. And uh, so we are open over here from uh, October the 1st, 2022. And it's now four months we are running over here. This is Peter Uncle, okay, who made this brand famous, and uh, so like you know, I'm his son's friend. Okay, this is the menu this card. Is that menu. is the number. You can just pause the screen and take down the number. I'll quickly show you guys what the interior is like. It's a quaint little place. Um, basically, a table for four, two tables for four, as well as the walls have been done up in this manner. Our main course is with my favorite gravy noodles good amount of vegetables, prawns. Along with this, we are going for some dried chili chicken. We had an option of gravy as well, but since we are doing a gravy noodle, we are going for a little tossed. Halka salt content is too bad, but the noodle is very good. 
great combination. Okay, the final bits are the main course. Some mixed fried rice, which is customary whenever you come into a Chinese restaurant. And dasha the ekdom spicy ekta preparation. Fish hot garlic. It to be she hot lag se gintu. Fish na is very soft. Okay, and inside it's pretty fresh. And let's see how the taste is. Do we throw it? डेफिनेटली तो मुझे स्कूल আর এটা হচ্ছে এখানে খাবারের মধ্যে আমার স্টার্টারের মধ্যে ড্রাম স্টিক্সটা খুব ভালো লেগেছে মেইন কোর্সে নুডলসটা এন্ড পোর্ক আইটেমটা দারুণ লেগেছে আমার তো ওভারঅল খুবই ভালো এক্সপেরিয়েন্স অথেন্টিক চাইনিজ ফ্লেভারটা আছে আই লাভ ইট হ্যালো সো উই হ্যাভ লেরেসা ওভার হিয়ার শি ইজ দ্য ওয়ান হুজ রেকমেন্ডেড দিস প্লেস টু আস হাই ওয়েলকাম টু ফুডস পা হাই হাউ ডিড ইউ কাম অ্যাক্রস দিস প্লেস হোয়াট হ্যাজ ইওর এক্সপেরিয়েন্স বিন ওভার হিয়ার টেল আস আই থিংক ইনস্টেড অফ হাউ আই কেম অ্যাক্রস কাউলুন হোয়াট আই শুড বি শেয়ারিং ইজ how long back i came across kaolun yes and i don't have an answer to that <laughs> okay because uh, the association has been the better part of life long okay uh i think i'm a second generation patron okay my parents have been visiting kaolun forever my family mm-hmm. and um, more importantly i think uh, you know uh, we often say especially as food fans as foodies we believe that um, food is love and if you're not emotionally connected to food you won't really be passionate about it so the emotional strings that pull me back to kaolun are really uh, beyond just love for food it's love for family uh, the memories that uh, you know tie in with kaolun and um, when i heard during the lockdown that kaolun had closed it had shut down uh, in fact somebody had shared a visual of the shutters down at their previous location it was it was heart wrenching and at that time i knew this was about 3 years ago now mm-hmm. that we could have done something i mean you know there there's so much to do out there there's so much happening out there uh, we could have saved kaolun and it just it was such a sinking feeling that we let it go and then 3 years later cut to um, i think it was during durga puja time this time okay that uh, we were just driving by and i saw the neon lights a glow saying kaolun <laughs> and all of us in the car just in chorus screamed and said that kaolun <laughs> and then my brother literally brought the car to a halt screeching halt and uh, he zoomed in only to see all the familiar staff uh, And that's was there that's as well. actually a wonderful story. I would like to tell the viewers. So she is the reason why Foodspa is here. Uh, she's been in touch with me for the past, I think, what four or five months that we were discussing our plan over here. And uh, yes, <laughs> and that is why she's the reason why we've managed to actually somehow in our schedule. take out time for this place because we knew if a customer of a place if a patron of a place is so um uh, thing about a particular place and obviously we had to come here try the food and and yes we've already shared our experience over here and we cannot thank you enough for making sure that food spa and kaolun could come together thank you so much we need more guests more patrons like you at places which really need the support of um, of the present generation so that it sustains through thick and thin thank you so much thank you for all that you do just People who will be watching the video and all, if they watch it and if they want to get a taste, their old taste, if they're nostalgic about the food and all, okay, of the childhood, they can come down over here. Wish you all the best. Thank Cheers. You.